Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. NAV 2018 is out. Yay! It came out last Friday, so this is the first Coffee Mac tutorial after that, and of course we dive into what's new. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the application just quickly. So this is the new NAV 2018. It looks very similar to 2017. A lot of the work has been done on the background on the engine, basically working towards merging this to Tenerife with the cloud version. Uh, so it works both on-prem and in the cloud, and they've done some heavy lifting on the development environment. And they also added a few things for the user. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a quick look at what's been done for the user. Uh, I have a list from Microsoft. It's not complete. Um, and so you can definitely hunt for Easter eggs, uh, what hasn't been released uh, in documentation or blog, but is still added to the system. But here's what we have. Um, there is a payroll integration. Hmm, what is that? Well. Uh, we've been able to integrate payroll, of course, with some modifications uh, and import it into the GL. But right now, uh, Microsoft has actually provided out of the box uh, payroll integration to QuickBooks payroll and Ceridian payroll, um, which is nice. So how did they really do that? Well, if we go into the system and go into the employee record, which did exist before, um, Microsoft NAV 2017 actually had uh, employees. It was like a light HR module, uh, but with no real detail. And um, now we can actually go into ledger entries uh, for an employee. And so the integration actually feeds into the ledger entries for the employee and we get payroll data inside an AV. Now, some people like that. Some people don't want payroll data inside the ERP. It's your choice now. Um, it's with proper permissions, you can obviously set this up and manage it nicely here. So very nice. Uh, let's take a look at what else. Uh, Microsoft has improved some things with uh, CR, uh, OCR. I will probably do a separate video on OCR. The OCR has been moving forward uh, with many things. So, so definitely take a look at that if you're interested. When, when we have uh, Personalization of your workspace. Um, we have two clients now, basically. We have the cloud client and we have the classic client. So I can't see any changes in the classic client here. Um, if I actually go into a list of vendors, for example, and I try to move things around, can't move things around, it's all pretty much the same. However, if I go into Tenerife, uh, and I have that running here, and remember, these pro uh, products are being developed at the same time and they are merging. So Microsoft is thinking always oh, Tenerife, uh, NAV 2018, etc., etc. So here, if I actually go into design mode, I can move columns around, which is uh, much more slick, uh, even though you can, of course, choose columns and move them around. But in Tenerife, when you did choose columns, uh, you couldn't set the order uh, like you can do in an AV. So it's a little bit different, um, but obviously we're moving towards a more modern environment in that. Okay, so if we uh, go a little bit down the list here, preview and print reports. Uh, this here doesn't really come with a lot of detail. Uh, we did have preview check that form, um, you know, and that's still the same. And I couldn't really get to uh, actually running this in my client, even in 2018. So I'll dig a little bit more to try to figure out what this is. Maybe it hasn't been released yet. I know this article came out uh, about a few weeks before the release. Um, CRM synchronization, they've been working on that, which means they're going to make it rock solid, uh, which is good. You still have NAV CRM, which is good too. So um, whether you go with CRM Dynamics or NAV CRM, up to you. But I would bet on that the, the synchronization is, is, is well done. They've been working on that a lot. 
And uh, since it's going to be in the cloud, both of them, I, you know, I would bet on that would be pretty good. Uh, we have something here called analyzing financial statements in Microsoft Excel. Now, if I go into my role center, um, I believe that feature is this thing here. So we've added to the ribbon on top a few things. One of them is this Excel reports, and we can actually print out Excel reports, uh, the financial statements. And these financial statements, you know, inside Excel, uh, you're allowed to actually change things with a sidebar in Excel. So I actually have to set this up and get it to work. Uh, my first attempt on that was not very successful. Maybe I'll do a video on that uh, since I have a lot of reporting videos. But basically, um, you can get into Excel with the data uh, for the balance sheet and income statement and change things around in Excel, like the filters and stuff like that. Uh, and run it again. Um, so sort of a data analyzing inside Excel. Um, and so we have some improvements for VAT uh, and some EC sales lists, which I'm really not familiar with. Uh, then we have three checks per page. <laughs> yes, that's funny. I know. because. Um, if you've implemented NAV and you were missing three checks per page, you basically just wrote the report. And I think everybody who has implemented NAV a lot probably has it somewhere, but now Microsoft provides it. So that's good. All right, so this was a, a rather short list for the user perspective. Again, uh, the improvements in NAV 2018 are mostly on the back end. Uh, we are now developing with Visual Studio, connecting to Git. Uh, you know, we're in the cloud. So there's a lot of fantastic development changes, but this is uh, as far as the user is concerned and you probably look for even more things. Uh, one thing to note though, this is not a complete list. Um, the reason why I say that is if I actually go in here uh, in my accountant role center for 2018, mm -hmm. I have something called manage flows. Um, yep, that's new and that's not in that list that we had. However, if you take a look at Tenerife, um, you have managed flows as well in there, right here. So that was in Tenerife already. And uh, as you can see, these are kind of things uh, being puzzled together by Microsoft. So I hope you enjoy this uh, little run through of what's new with 2018. Uh, I'm going to be looking for other things that might not be documented, which is going to be very cool. And I'm sure Microsoft is going to be releasing a lot of things incrementally as well. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It's good stuff. Until later.